Hello, and welcome back to Wooden Railway Studio. Today's video is a massive, and I mean massive, recent purchases video. Uh, the other day, I went to an antique store, actually a flea market, I should say, and uh, this guy was just selling toys in a bin. I always look through, uh, you know, 50 cent bins and stuff like that, looking for anything Thomas, if it's wooden for my episodes, or just uh, the Ertles, anything like that. And I was lucky I pulled out a lot of stuff on the left. A lot of the loose pieces, uh, like this stuff, was out of the bin. And this stuff was just uh, other thing, other other uh, Thomas Wooden Railway items that I purchased from other dealers. But see, I'm going to show you exactly what I got. And let's start off with this one right here. This is Tommy Birdie. Very nice. It, it works well with the wooden characters, but I'll, I'll still be using my uh, my wooden railway birdie. Uh, now, I'm not sure what toy line this is, but it looks really strange. It's Clarabelle. This peg right here is annoying because it's right in the middle of her face. I don't know if you could help me uh, in the comment section below if you know what... Uh, toy range this is, uh, please leave a comment to let me know what, where it's from. I'm not really sure. This is uh, Take and Play, Charlie. Uh -huh, very nice. Uh, here's another Take and Play, Mavis. I mean, none of these are in perfect condition, but uh, they're still nice to have. They're nice. Next is the one of the wooden railway ones I got. It's Rocky's front, they call it front tender, but I think it's really Rocky's front car. I don't think it's really a tender. But, uh, here actually I have, this is... The newer version, as you can see here, uh, this is it says 2012 on the wheels, uh, but it's probably from after 2012. Then here's the original Rocky front car, as they called it back, I think in like 2008 when it was first released. But you can just see the difference. This is the one that I just got from 2012 on the top. It's it is different than the original version that Rocky had. Just thought that was interesting. I wanted to put that out there. Next, I've got Timothy Wooden Railway Train. Uh -huh. Then I've got Jack from the Pack. His claw still sort of works. Like it goes up, but then you have to push it down. That's nice, though. Jack, you don't see that often. Not that he's hard to find or anything, but uh, he definitely is uh, not as common. And here's Bash. The way I remember Bash and Dash is that Bash is blue. He has, like, mostly blue. And Dash is the other colors. I think it's orange. So bash is blue. <laughs> then I just got a Sodor Shipping Company piece of cargo. Comes in handy at the docks with Cranky. Now I've got a James Take and Play Tender only. I'm also not sure what line this is from. It says Daco Pak. Incorporate, so I don't know if that's the line that's from, but uh, again, just like the Clarabelle earlier, if you could please leave a comment and tell me where the what line this is from, I would greatly greatly appreciate it. Uh, here's a Mavis Ertle. Ertles are harder to find in. Uh, 
like at, at flea markets and stuff. Very Thomas Thomas items in general are hard to find, but uh, especially Ertles since they uh, you know since they're metal and they're really high quality. People like to save them for their children and for their for their children's children. <laughs> Uh, but here's Douglas. Trying to make the camera focus. <laughs> now I have, this is Hit Toy Company. Elizabeth. I'm also not sure <laughs> what line this is from. I wonder if it's Trackmaster. Kind of looks like that. Then I have a battery powered Salty from the Wooden Railway line. This is all metal, so it's quite heavy. Then I've got this uh, Ertle Lady. Very nicely made. I've got Golden Diesel. I guess that's the yeah, limited, a 60 year edition diesel. Or no, it's Bronze Diesel and Golden Thomas. That's it. So, Bronze Diesel, I, sh I should have said. Then I've got a Take and Play Hector. I have a wooden railway barrel car from 2001. I'm just missing the barrels, but uh, barrel cars from 2001. It's it's a nice one. I have a barrel loader, uh, so I can put it. I can use it there with this one. This Mavis, uh, actually, the person gave to me for free because it's such bad condition. Uh, really, unfortunately, someone. Played with it a lot. <laughs> it's dated 2003. So I may, I'll have to see if I have time. I may make that a custom, or uh, like change it to another diesel. Uh, I may, I'll have to see. Uh, here's Stanley from the My First Thomas series. He's huge. And let me just show you here. On the rails, he fits perfectly. So say he wants to go talk to Boko. He just looks really huge and out of proportion. But he fits on the track very well. Here's a wooden railway herald. Propellers get a little stuck sometimes, but uh, still good. Then I have, let's see, this is Jack Frost Percy. Neat, because it's, because all this snow, ice, the, all these icicles are uh, rubber. See them, they move all over. Then I've got Salty right here. Very nice. It's just a regular Salty though. Then I've got this Toby. It's a regular old Toby. Nothing really special there. Then I've got this Sodor Shipping Company Trackmaster. I go white cargo car, I guess you'd call it. Now I've got a new style Terrence the Tractor from the Wooden Railway line. It's missing the rubber band treads. Uh, but I can get those. I can... I have other Terrences I can use. Then I have a box car. A yellow box car, I should say. 
opens up. Then I've got a gold rail, Ertl, Thomas from 1993. This is very nice. Gold rail is a little bit harder to find than other lines. So that's very nice pickup right there. Then I've got old style Thomas from 2001. Neat when you find uh, pre-2002 old style Thomas trains. Because everybody has the newer ones, but not as many people have the old ones. Then I've got, this is probably the best one out of all of these. It's an old style birdie from 2002, but it's in near perfect condition. I mean, there really aren't any dings anywhere. The paint, it looks new, like someone just took it out of the package. I hope that's not the case. Oh, excuse me. But, uh, it's a very nice one right there. Just gleams in the paint in the sun. <laughs> then I have a Reneus Ertl from nineteen ninety six, but this isn't the regular Reneus. This is the special metallic finish. They had these uh, around nineteen ninety six. Uh, they were just limited edition, special ones. So this is a this is harder to find than the regular Ertl Reneus. Very nice, too. Also just got this Brio coal car. Nothing special. And then I've got this new style dated 2012 Edwards Tender. You could I could tell it was new right away because of the uh, the rounded edges. Just the way it's all smooth and stuff. There's no uh, sharp edges like the old ones. But now we're gonna now we're gonna go into more not the loose ones but more of the track and just this stuff so I got these three trains uh, from the antique from the flea market uh, they are take and play one's a James without tender which seems to fit well with the James with with this tender over here that I had loose I have a Coldy a neat character to get and I have Bill from the take and play series I also have this five pack, including two Thomases, actually three Thomases, a Percy and a Duncan. Duncan is is the uh, the neatest one out of the whole lot. Now also, I found this Hector the Horrid uh, wooden railway still in the package. It's not good condition package, but. Uh, that's nice. I always like finding Thomas Wynn Railway, but Thomas Wynn Railway and package you can't really leave. <laughs> really neat. I also just have this huge bag of track. It's just full of curves and stuff. I don't even know if I can really fit it in the screen altogether. But there is a uh, a switch inside. So ascending, descending track, couple risers. It's just a neat, just a little neat uh, lot right there. I should also just have regular track to finish up the video. I have two Aiden, or like the longest track. I have one of these little short ones. Got a male male adapter. Got a not so long but not so short one. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. Quick curves. Sorry, these are very slippery for some reason. Uh, I have a, a switch. I always like these switches because they're not easy to find. And then I also have half of the uh, cross switch. But I, 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 I have uh, another half, which will go well with that. <laughs> It'll work perfectly fine. Well, thank you for viewing my video. Uh, please like my video and subscribe to my channel so you can get new, so you can get notifications for a lot of the new content I put out. Thank you, and see you next time.